let's get to work. Hi, my name is Mercury Rising. And I'm Ethel Adams. And this is, um, Tat? Yeah! Woo! Got this shit! Welcome to Um Tat. This is the official review show for the Miss Bio Work 2016 competition, sponsored by work.com. Let's get to work. This competition is really unique because we bring to you a whole gaggle of extremely talented bio babes. Like, all of these ladies are real biological women who are natural born queens. Mm -hmm. They are here to serve it, they are here to work, they are here to twerk, they are here to do everything that rhymes with those words. Yes. And I can't wait to see what these ladies have in store. Me neither. No tea, no shade, no penis. Okay. Every week, I will be joined by one of my very special guests, and this week we're joined by Apple Adams. Apple is one of my good friends from Sacramento. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I love to. Well, uh, my name is Apple Adams. I've been doing drag for about three years now. I currently host a show Monday nights called After Hours with Apple Adams. It's at 10 o'clock. I know. One hell of a time slot. It started as a debut drag show, but now it's a variety show for live singers, for less performers, bio queens, drag kings, anyone who wants to come up and uh, earn a couple drink tickets. Yes, God. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to get started and just kind of go over what all of these lovely ladies have to offer. Without further ado, yes. let's get to work. Let's get to work. Up first we have Monroe Fitzgerald. Uh, Monroe Fitzgerald is a conceptual queen. She is super fun and um, she just does all of the stuff. She said she did burlesque. She said she has a performance night. And um, basically, from what I see, this girl is totally, like, she just is working. She's living the fantasy, living the dream, and living the drag life. Mm -hmm. In terms of the Gem and the Holograms cosplay, she did Kimber Benton. Mm -hmm. uh, that is, she is a fiery redhead in the show. I love the hell out of her, and she completely did her justice. Oh, yeah. That outfit is fierce. The hair is everything. It's like big. Boots. It's it's Boots 80s. Down. Yes, absolutely. It's 80s, it's drag, it's everything they're looking for. Yeah, Monroe Fitzgerald. <laughs> Second up to bat, we have Ms. Crimson Kitty. I think Ms. Crimson Kitty is all of it, everything, like the whole tea. She's giving me sass, she's giving me face, she's giving full on crazy everything kind of makeup that I just can eat and breathe and Oh, totally. Mm -hmm. She's a Jersey sex kitten. How can you not love that? Joyzy sex kitten. Shout out to being the winner of the Let's Get to Work sewing challenge. Like, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, you are clearly better than I because I don't know how to sew. I wish I did. I'm trying to learn and I'm taking classes that aren't working. Mm -hmm. She was actually part of one of the first bio queen pageants in our area mm -hmm. that was hosted by Bob the Drag Queen. So... Purse first, purse first, <laughs> walk in the club purse first. That's actually a very dangerous practice. If you go in purse first, they'll just grab it and run. So body first, fist second, purse third. Something tells me though that Crimson Kitty would beat up anybody who tried to steal her purse. I'm scared of her. I love it. I love you, Miss Crimson Kitty. I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. In regards to her gem, the holograms cosplay, in love. That is a fantastic concept. For those of you who haven't seen the show, uh, Jem, when she's not part of the holograms, she's just an, an ordinary girl named Jerrica. She gets transformed into the lead singer of Jem the Holograms. And I am living for this look. Half Jem, half Jerrica. Next up to bat, we have Miss Pioretta Victori. Um, Pioretta is basically the shit. She's sickening, she is amazing. Um, I'm living for the whole, the whole entire blue fantasy that she was serving in her introduction video, um, mm -hmm. that, girl, can you make me one? Ms. Pioretta is a fashion designer. She creates all types of stuff. She's a conceptual artist, mm -hmm. obviously. Basically, girl, I'm gonna need you to give me a couple of things, mm -hmm. just like all of your wardrobe. Right. Thank you. Fun fact, uh, both of her sisters have been in the competition before, and the winner from last year was Box of Vine. That was one of her sisters, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see, talent runs in the family. Do you have any daddies in your family? Hey. 
Now, in terms of the Gem the Holograms cosplay, I love the uh, the whole concept that you ran with. I get such strong misfit vibes from you when I see you, like rival Gem the Holograms band, like something between like the misfits and a bad acid trip. I yeah. love everything about uh, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, again, I need you to send me your entire wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Pieretta Victory. Yes. You? Truly outrageous. Up next, we have our lovely ladies, Miss Gypsy Gemini. I personally am a Gemini, so you already have my heart. Hashtag Team Gemini. She's from Orlando, and her makeup is on point. We're going to be hashtag Gemini sisters, I can tell. Mm -hmm. In terms of your gem cosplay, uh, first of all, truly, 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 truly outrageous. Um, I was also really excited to see more of your personality this time around. Yes. Uh, you're giggly, you're working the camera, and I'm all about seeing this side of you. So please keep this up. I want to see more of it. I thought your pigments were amazing. Your blend was B. And, like, you did a really good job making that cheekbone, like, cut, but blended at the same time. Mm -hmm. You made it your own, and you really rocked it out. So yes. I have all the respect in the world for mm -hmm. you. You made it look couture. Yes. Gypsy Gemini, I'm super excited to see what you have to bring. I think that you're fun, flirty, quirky, and I'm excited. That's all, that's all I can say is I'm excited. Party. Party. We have my lipstick caking in my teeth. Mm -hmm. That's a good look. Okay. For our next contestant, I'm excited to announce we have Miss Kitty Meringue. Miss Kitty is exhilarating to say the least. Mm -hmm. That's the random adjective that comes out of my mouth when I'm describing you as exhilarating. But appropriate. Uh, appropriate. You make me happy when I look at you and you make me excited to be alive. Okay? Point blank period. You are a writer and a comedian um, and I do see the, I see the comedy girl. You make me laugh, and like I said, you just make me really happy, and I, I think your personality is winning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Loved your Misfits reference. Uh, the cheetah print on the side of your face, fucking cool. The whole big ass blue, uh, Marge lady bunny Simpson. fucked Marge Simpson's yeah. look. I loved it. Oh mm -hmm. my god. You definitely look like one of the bad girl roadies that would be tossing back bottles with them. You go back in time. You're a bad influence. Really, who didn't love the villains because it's who we all grew up to be. <laughs> Kitty Meringue, I'm so excited for you to be here. I'm so excited to watch you. And honestly, we're going to be BFFLs for life. Hey, me. Our next bio babe is Miss Teeny Davenport. I absolutely love her and she just inspires me to just shoot for the stars and try everything and just not be afraid oh, to yeah. do things. Mm -hmm. She's a well of confidence. You can totally see that she's grown so much from when she first started doing this. Mm -hmm. I like how she makes her name into, what do you call it? Uh, like an acronym? An anonym. An anonym. She did things with she letters says, and yeah. cute. Teeny stands for talent, intelligence, nice, and incredible. <laughs> you got charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. That's all I can say. Mm-hmm. Um, on to your Gem in the Holograms costume, I was definitely feeling the 80s. Uh, very glitzy, very sparkly, very big. I love the accessories. They were over the top. Go you were serving like legitimate, authentic 1980s fish. Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling the 1980s fish, you know? Fishy queen. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what you have to bring, Teeny. Um, I think that you are fierce. I think that you are everything. And literally, you are the well of confidence that I would love to drink from all the time. Amen to that. So we're dialing down to the end of our competition here. Next we have the fabulous Maureen San Diego. Uh, I am weak. I think that it is so freaking hilarious that you actually, you sat there in your truth with your big old box of wine mm -hmm. and told us how it is. You are serving fierce. You are serving glamour. Um, and I think that you are everything girl. Absolutely. <laughs> Any girl who can rock a box of wine like that has my respect. Your Gem in the Holograms, uh, entry, fucking hilarious. And Gem Mima. Um, I, oof, I, I don't know what to say except, uh, I would have watched it. I'm really sad it was canceled before it really got legs. 
And uh, you know what? You're right. There's nothing more outrageous than uh, transvaginal mesh. So. <laughs> Maureen San Diego, you are keeping it 100% real, real, creel, treel. I'm living. Okay. I don't know what to say, girl. I just can't wait for whatever, everything else that you have to put out there. Okay. All right, everybody. So we have reached the last contestant of this week. We bring to you Miss Cream Victoria. Cream Victoria, in my opinion, is oh my God. hella funny. Yes. Um, your video is just so epic. I cannot even deal. Mm -hmm. um, I'm definitely, what is it? 1-800-DATE-ME-BITCH. DATE-ME-BITCH. 1-800-DATE-ME-BITCH. I'm Call. pretty sure I didn't even have to dial the bitch, but I did it just for you. 1-800-DATE-ME-BITCH is my new hashtag and my new catchphrase. Mm -hmm. In terms of your gem persona, um, in love with it, um, I kind of get this like playful, quirky, divine atmosphere from you. I feel like your character would uh, rock the hell out of the concert, yeah. kick Jem in the inner lady balls, yeah. and go around the corner and eat a fresh dog shit. Potentially. In the best way in possible. In the best way in possible. In the best way possible. Loved it. I'm feeling your tea, and I'm living for your tea, and when I say tea, I mean tuck. That's untucked. All right, you guys, there you have it. We have officially gone through the first round of the Miss Bio Work 2016 pageant. I am here with Apple Adams. Apple, what did you think? I loved it. I was very impressed with all the bio queens that we have this year. Mm -hmm. um, and I got to say, I love that you all stepped up and really went big with the 80s gem challenge. Uh, and I can't wait to see you guys bring next week. Yes, God. I don't know what's going to be happening next week, but all I know is that I can't wait. Tune in next week where me and my friends review all of the fabulousness that these bio babes have to offer. Now go home and pop your tuck. Was that like too gross? No, that's that great. Disgusting. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. okay.